Hey there, it's Beth from Rock Your Notebook and I am up with a mixed media spread using the Sweet Elegance Kit from Calico Collage. And for this one, I'm doing something kind of quick and easy in my Tomoe River Traveler's Notebook insert. And if you don't know, Tomoe River paper is a super thin paper that can handle fountain pens, watercolors, acrylic paint, and all kinds of things. It's a really durable paper and holds up really surprisingly well to all types of art. So I've got my two Prima paints here and um, these paints blend really, really well together. It just takes a lot of playing. And in hindsight, I should have started out with the purple throughout both pages first because I definitely am loving the right side over the left side of this spread. But that's okay, I kind of fix it uh, between the silver paint, which is a Liquitex heavy acrylic body paint, um, just to tone down the blue. Like I didn't realize how in your face the blue was until I put it down on the paper. And that's okay because that's what it is with mixed media and doing these kinds of projects, you kind of just have to go with the flow. So then I have my Prima Doily stencil and I'm going to use some Heidi Swap and I cannot believe that it's still working. This is like a Heidi Swap texture paste in silver and I really thought that it was going to be like garbage but it's still fine which I'm surprised that the shelf life is so awesome. So this texture paste has like a metallic sheen to it as well and you can see that I'm kind of going for like that metallic look for everything and I love 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 the stencil and I love how I did it on the two corners so I did it on the right side and then I'm gonna do it again on the left side and I think that turned out fabulous like I was really shocked at how much I love the way that looked if you don't have one of these metal palette knives from Michaels or from wherever you have access to I highly highly recommend them because they are awesome when doing mixed media and then I have these Prima micro beads and I haven't opened them yet I actually bought them for my December daily album and didn't use them so I wanted to give them a try and my texture paste wasn't dry yet and I figured I would sprinkle the micro beads onto the doily because it wasn't dry yet, the micro beads would stick to the doily. And it did. And I this stuff um, dries fairly quickly. So I was really happy that I could move on after doing that. That's one of my things with mixed media is I hate for waiting for things to dry because I'm super impatient. So then I grabbed my two images from the Sweet Elegance uh, kit here. And I really wanted to... I don't know, make it more vintagey. I don't know. I really just wanted to play with this <laughs> wax. I have a few of these waxes. Um, since Michael started carrying them, I figured I would grab some of them. And I haven't really used them because I've been working so much and not doing enough art. Um, so I really wanted to just try them. I know that they're not necessarily meant for this. And I'll probably look up some YouTube videos and see what else other people are using them for. I know they put them on like clay items and stuff, but it worked and I really like the way it changed the entire card. Um, I can tell you it was not fun getting this stuff off of my glass mat, but that's okay. Um, you can see me here. I'm working on the Tonic Studio glass mat by Tim Holtz and... I love my We Are Memory Keepers mat, so I thought that I would love the glass mat as much, and I do. I literally trimmed these two cards down, and I stuck them down on top of the doilies, and then I call this spread done. That was it. My heart was content. I didn't add any words or any journaling or anything like that. Um, this is pretty much what it looks like still. So you'll see the close-up videos at the end of this, and um, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> 